Hello, this is the third problem of homework 8. So determine the y bar which locates the centroid x for the cross-sectional area of t beam and find the moment of inertia around x prime axis. So we have to find first our y bar. So here's my 0, 0. Let's build our charge. So I just have two pieces. Here I have my area and here I have my Y bar. So my first area will be 5A square and my height is half of the area 5A over 2. My second area is 6 times A, so 6A square and my Y bar is 5A plus A over 2. So in order to calculate our y bar, so the sum of the areas times y bar of my piece is equal a1 times y bar 1 plus a2 times y bar 2. So I have my y bar will be 5a square times 5a over 2 plus 6a square times 5.5a divided by 5a square plus 6a square. So my y bar is 4.14 times a. When I plug my a equals 60 millimeters, I have my y bar 248. 0.2 millimeters. So this is the answer for our part A. Here we're gonna discover the moment of inertia around I x prime because we know this height. We know that's 4.14 times A. So now we're gonna go for our first piece. So our moment of inertia is base A times 5A to the third over 12 plus my area 5A square times my Y bar of my piece 2.5A minus 4.14A. That's our X prime. It doesn't matter which one comes first because we're gonna square so this is my first area my second area y prime 2 is equal 6a times a to the cube over 12 plus my area 6a square times my y bar that's half of here that's 5.5a minus 4.14 a square in order to find our i x prime is just to add i x 1 plus i x 2 i did two difference to see the how we gonna do our approach so my i x bar x prime is equal 125 over 12 a to the fourth plus now the second term that's this term is near 13.45 a to the fourth plus here a to the fourth over two and finally this term here that is near 11.1 a to the fourth so doing this i found my i x prime is equal 35.45 times a to the fourth our a is 60 millimeters so i have this huge number here millimeters fourth in order to have like three six figures we're gonna count like how many zeros so i have one two three four five 
six, seven, eight. So my final answer will be my moment of inertia around x prime will be 4.60 because here is a 6, so it comes 60 times 10 to the negative 8 millimeters to the 4. So this is our approach and our final answer for letter B, our moment of inertia.